Hey, how's it going everybody? I want to show you guys something real quick. But before I do, I got my trucks book. Hmm. Flying it right here. Opened up for American Truck Simulator or uh, Eero Truck Simulator. Got my big monitor right there. And then on my right hand side is my tablet. I might get a bigger tablet later. That way uh, the buttons ain't so small. And then the one I'm going to show you is what I built for it. Instead of spending 45 bucks or whatever how much a tripod holder is for a tablet, I made my own. And it functions pretty good too. Like, the push button start does not really work on this model. But I can click the key. So I'm going to try to get this zoom fully out. And then I got my lights, my uh, brights. Um, what else do I have on this? And then on here, I'm gonna zoom this in just a tiny bit. You got your speed. I think this is my speedo. Yeah, my speedo RPM gauge. When the shift and everything is pretty cool. That's new. How many miles I got on this semi uh, manufacturer? Okay. How many miles I got on this rig? Which I currently can't see it because my steering wheel is covering everything and it makes it kind of hard to see everything, really. So, like, up in here is my fuel gauge. And I always like to keep an eye on it and I like to have this open just to see how many miles I have to my destination so now over here this is awesome so you can see my current job is eight pays out 87,000 cars uh, from where I was at to right there oh whoops and then it shows you like status the hours and minutes, uh, <clears throat> the arrival time, my gas fuel gauge again, over here as well. How many distances I have, which I have about 540 or 54, which I can't wait. The radio, I'm not going to worry about that because I don't really care for the radio, but it is what it is. Oh, yeah, here it is. My horn. This ain't my uh, design. I think this is uh, by Michael. Um, so what I had to do, I, this is using the, come on, SIM dashboard is what I'm using. And I got, oh, I can't really see, oh, there he goes. So you have all these different games you can choose from. American truck, Euro truck, uh, Forza, Autocosa, uh, Corosa, I can't pronounce the name right. And a lot of different other games you can play too, which is pretty awesome. But I upgraded to the Pro, which is only $12.99 plus tax, is about $13, around $13. And then you can just go into here. I'm not gonna worry about that. But then you click on this little pencil guy, and then click on this little um, plus sign. Come up to where it says add widget, I think. Yeah, with the picture. And you can make your own kind of design and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. Or you can, uh, I think it's this one. No. What did I do? Poopy. X, and it should. Oh. Alright, whatever. I delete it. That way I can just show you. Because I didn't do nothing, so... I'm going to clear this all out. Make sure everything is... Oh, okay. Because <clears throat> this would be easy to find. Just click here. 
So then I will click on the little pencil guy, click on the plus, click uh, add widget, wid get, install design. And then you got ones here. You can create your own design, but I think you're gonna have like two designs at the max before you have to upgrade to the Pro. And how you upgrade to the Pro, I'll show you in here in a second. And then you go to community. This is where everybody else's stuff is at. Now, the one I had is right here, named by Michael, as you can see. But his is in, I don't know what language it is in. So if I go down some more, there's some pretty cool ones that I like, but I like that one because it tells me my gas gauge and how many miles to go on destination, which is nice. That's what I want. I made my own, but I was like, eh, I don't really care for it. I don't really care for the map in the middle, but I took it anyway, because it's nice. Here it is. So here's this one, right here, in English, E-N-G. I'll make it actually a little bit better. When you scroll down to it, you can click on it. And then, in other information, you can see it says it's not his and all that stuff. What you do is click install. And then click OK. And the maps everything out for you. And I believe you can edit the background, but I'm not going to. Once this is all done, you get that little check mark. You hit that and you're done. You can double click on this and make it go hide it. But how you upgrade to the Pro, you go to the bottom here. And it will say down here upgrade to pro and you hit that and you just pay for that way it's pretty cool and I really like this thing you can pick your map what you want and I'll show you what I have picked uh, right here so I have the Wyoming I guess I really don't know and this thing ain't that great but that's what I got and then you hit this and it matches everything. You can go in and out, which is pretty cool. And over here I can hit, and you can hear my engine die again. <laughs> and I got mods installed on this as well. This ain't really a mod, this is just to help you out if you want it. I got a sound mod. I got a lot of mods put that way. And it's kind of cool. It shows you your trailer damage and stuff, your truck damage, your lights, your windows. If I, I don't know if I have my windows up or down. Your lift axle, your trailer disconnect, diff lock, your rear brakes. It's kind of cool. If I can brake. I thought that was very awesome. So, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll be happy to answer them. But this is how you get it, and then you can just go to. You know, I can't redo really it on here. Send dashboard on your computer and on your tablet. Doesn't matter what tablet you can have, an Android or a. I think you can use a iOS, which is. Apple I think I'm not really sure but I want to upgrade to a bigger tablet later this is my tablet I used it for just right now and this is the stand I built for it use a little bit of hot glue some wood glue kind of hide the hot glue uh, it ain't done yet so I still got I ain't satisfied with it after looking at it that's gonna bug me looking at it so I'm gonna Fix it up, make it look nicer, make it look better. I don't care for the edges here. I just want the face to look nice, which it kind of does, but it needs to be better. So let me know what you guys think. And all I did is move the board right here where I wanted it, hot glued it in place, both sides, and I think it looks killer. So yeah, thanks for watching. I see y'all later.